You disgust me, Reuben. You disgusting pig. Oh my god, that guy is still out here. Oh. Oh my god, she caught on. Where is she and what? How did she? Oh, she's coming. Oh no. Hello everyone and welcome to The Sims Lore. Today we are continuing with the Reuben Littler fiasco that happened last time when Renee threw a party um, in their home. So we left him off here just having a cone of ice cream while everyone else inside is just dying to pee. So here they all are after that horrific party that happened. I think Renee is pretty upset. You know, they're just gonna order a pizza and stay in and just forget everything that's happened. <sighs> oh, hey, she just became thin. <laughs> all this stress is just like affecting her so bad that she's like losing all of her weight. That's bleak. Oh well. I mean, listen, it's not her fault that she you know, invited Odin to stay as a live-in nanny, you know. Maybe they were friends, maybe they got along really well, you know, in the past and something along the way just happened between them and Odin just uh, took revenge. <laughs> she took revenge and she just slept with her husband. Honestly, such a fantastic friend. I'm I'm really happy Renee is uh has such a good friend by her side. This is just going to be such a train wreck of a let's play. I mean, where is their pizza? Oh, is that the pizza guy? Oh my god, the pizza guy is a ghost. Oh, it's a pizza girl and she just needed to load. <laughs> Someone please take the pizza in. Oh, Deirdre stepping up. This game is glitching so bad. <laughs> Alright, have some pizza. Mmm. That looks like olive. That looks like some basil and olive pizza. That looks really good. Please don't go to sleep. Just eat. Eat the pizza. Have some pizza. Maybe you can all sit down as a family and kind of talk about what happened kind of come to the real realization that you need help <laughs> as a family. You know, this is actually quite a sad story. You know, Renee is you know, just doing kind of badly. You know, her marriage is falling apart and her husband hates her children, hates their children. I just think that that's quite a tragic story. Odin is like has no shame. She's just walking up in here like I guess Reuben decided not to show up. He decided to just Who's he listening to? Who who, who? It's half one in the morning, dude. Like I you know, have a family. <laughs> Reuben is a coward. Well, we already knew that. Can you please leave? I mean, I'm not interested. Uh, please stop. I really need to get rid of this like zombie apocalypse thing. I thought I disabled it, but I guess I didn't. Just go to bed. Forget the day. Forget anything ever happened. And while you do that, I am going to save. What should our save file be called? So I kind of wait for them to just go to sleep. Everyone's asleep, right? Uh, you know, and then this creep just shows up. Dude, this is private property. <laughs> Please leave. Oh, I can't even tell them to leave. Well, I know what to do. That'll literally break my game. Can, can you, it's just... How do I- okay, okay. Friendly. I'm gonna try and be 
as friendly as possible and tell him to- Oh. Well, that's what you get. Please stop eating ice cream. Please stop. Ruben, protect your family. Get up. Come on. Invite inside. Absolutely no way. Come on. He's so tired as well. Like, just, like, you can't do anything. You can just greet him and... Okay, so he's just gonna keep eating ice cream in the back garden until everybody just wakes up. He's just gonna keep eating ice cream. Everyone's awake and they're like doing their homework and having their breakfast. And he, there's just this dude in the back garden like eating all of our ice cream. At, at least Deirdre and Bronson can just leave before the police gets here. Drink promotion. Drink promotion. Order a drink at Bonsai Lounge to get a promotion. I mean, if that's what it takes, if that is what it takes, you know, to just drink my way into a promotion, I will do it. <laughs> okay, good. The kids are going. Leave the property so I can deal with this crazy man. I just realized that the walls don't go all the way around, so pretty much anybody can just come in. Look at this guy. No shame. What, this is your, like... 10th 20th ice cream cone he, like he should be getting sick by now this is disturbing this is so disturbing i you need to wake up you need to wake up and get out here and be quick about it because this guy is not playing around he is not stopping until he eats all of the ice cream <laughs> i think he's broken so let's greet him rudely let him know who's boss here. Definitely not Reuben. He's a coward. <laughs> this is like the worst man for the job. Gr wake him up? Oh my god. Oh no, now he's just passed out and yeah. And Reuben is cowering in fear. And wants to go back to bed. That is not happening. This guy needs to leave. Please, leave my property. <laughs> leave. How do I... Ew, I... Ew, can I just... How did it mean? Leave? Fight? No? Friendly? Get to know? Apologize? Like, dude, no! Stop! Stop doing that. Stop doing that. Okay. That has solved absolutely nothing. And he's just running back to bed like the coward that he is. That, uh, that makes sense. Oh, and there's just like bills out here. $937. I think I think Renee is the responsible one here. She's gonna come out, recycle this, pay the bills. You know, Odine is still asleep. <laughs> Renee is in here just like using Odine's computer. What a mess. This is the entire thing is just a mess. Their whole situation. Oh great, and they left the pizza outside. I you know. I'll help Renee out and just throw it out for her. There she goes, paying the bills and... Re Ruben is going to m mop the floor. He has no sense of humor, so why would he do that? After school employment, get a part-time job to improve your school performance. Yeah, I think Bronson kind of wants to get the hell out of here <laughs> to be honest with this whole drama going on you know she needs to go to work soon i think yeah two hours and he has oh an hour i think he's just gonna pull a sickie not tell anybody and uh present himself in odin's bed 
She uh, needs to go to work in three hours, but I think, I mean, he'll definitely be done in three hours. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely not even gonna last like 10 minutes. She's like, all right, okay, I accept this, you know, she's, uh, she's into him, unfortunately. So she's gonna go ahead and, uh, you know. Mm. <laughs> my son i don't care about him okay basically odin has to go to work and reuben has to pee that's this is great mission accomplished cheating accomplished i hope you're happy reuben I hope you're happy. You want to live in the lap of luxury, but you're just, you know, you're missing work. You're going to get fired. You know, your wife is going to find out, throw you out. You know, and then what's going to happen to you? You know, you're not going to have the lifestyle of the rich and famous. You disgust me, Reuben. You disgusting pig. Yeah, that's right. That's right, go take a shower. That's right, go take a shower and wash that filth off of you. Not that you can ever, ever accomplish that. <laughs> He's just gonna remain filthy for eternity. Oh my god, that guy is still out here. What do you want? Why? Why are you here? You're miserable. You're getting hailed on. Just leave. Yeah, sorry, bud. The ice cream machine is taken right now. <laughs> Wait. What? How did he... How did he change shoes? What's happening here? I thought he was wearing sandals. Oh, no. Now he's just passed out. Oh, no. Now he's just passed out. This is strange. I don't remember changing his shoes. Okay, so I think that that's actually his outwear, is it? Please tell me it is because... What? Was that a glitch? His career? Oh yeah, no, it is his career. <laughs> Really? You're gonna go into your daughter's room and just insult her? <sighs> this is horrible. I can't watch this. She's gonna... She's offended. She's out of sorts. Oh, from her grumpy trait. Yeah, just shower and don't mind him because he's just a... He's just a horrible person. Who dislikes children? Okay, there's a lot of people who dislike children. Fine. But I can't accept that he just insults his own daughter like that. You know, she's a child. Look, we don't know what happened here. You know, they're enemies. Maybe, maybe his daughter knows about Lala. Maybe his daughter knows about Odin. You know, it's just, uh, in the limelight. Yeah, of course you want to be in the limelight. You're <laughs> How is he in the limelight? Just like mopping. The paparazzi is like, oh yeah, that's, that's right, Ruben. That's right. This is fantastic. Yeah, this is great. Great work, Ruben. <laughs> Keep mopping the floor while it's like hailing and raining. Oh yeah, get that shot of Ruben. <laughs> <laughs> Get those shots of him. Yeah, get his good angle. Get his good angle from behind while he, yeah. <laughs> Today, Ruben mopped the floor while it hailed outside. This is riveting content for whatever magazine he's gonna end up selling this to. Oh my God, Bridgeport is so mesmerizing. Look at this. 
Why is he upset? Oh, he got demoted. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. See, this is what happens. This is what happens when you just... Yeah, when you're just a, a little... A little shit, really. You're just a little... Uh, just answer your phone, dude. Odin stinks. Bronson is just sick and tired of everything, so he just decided to take a nap. Yeah, she is very unhappy. You're not gonna sleep in your parents' room, though. Ruben is still outside, having a million ice cream cones while his picture is being taken by Walter White over here. Six and a half hours later. Ruben's just having a drink. Hopefully he's, uh, developing a drinking problem. So then we can hate him even more. Why do I keep doing this? Ah. Uh, <laughs> so now there's a rumor going around. There's a rumor going around and he is being publicly disgraced. That's amazing. I love this. Ugh. These people will only eat ice cream cones. Day two. Right. I think that something has to happen today. I think Ruben is going to go ahead and quit his job. That's what's gonna happen. He's gonna quit his job and Renee is gonna totally freak. And she's gonna come upstairs and argue. She basically just called him trash. This is great. This is going somewhere here. Now, to retaliate, Ruben is going to do something incredibly bold. And I know he's a coward. I know. Maybe you guys won't agree with this, but he's just so upset that he needs to just, you know, to just flirt. He needs a good flirt. There he goes. I'm gonna go a step further, further. <laughs> I'm gonna go a step further with it and have a dip kiss. Oh, oh my God, she caught on. Where is she and what, how did she? Oh, she's coming. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. This, this is not gonna end well. She is pissed. Look at her. She's so upset. She's she's disgusted. She's so disgusted. Oh no. No, don't just go. Don't just go and use the bathroom after this happens. You need to fight him. Sims are starting to catch on while well, I- yeah, I think that she's incredibly upset. Look at her. And he's just like, what? What'd I do? Babe. Just give me another chance, babe. Alright, I think this is a good cliffhanger and a good place to end this week's episode. And I'm really hoping you're enjoying the Let's Play. I really love playing with this family and it looks like Ruben is finally going to get what he deserves, which is not another chance, not another shot. And, uh, you know, I think something big is going to happen, but I think you're going to have to wait until next week's episode. So I will see you guys then. Bye.